Welcome to this update in 1.66 for Nebula Rounds. Everybody's loading in. Hey, look, it's snowing in the sky. We're set for the Christmas time. For the holiday season. So, let's go to the patch notes. There are no patch notes, but they did post a, um, a photo. And I'm doing this tonight because they just came out with the update. So, I thought at first they usually come out with an update earlier in the day so I thought I was gonna say well I guess it's no update today because I was gonna hang out in here today for one of my streams but I decided to play something else play a different game but just they kind of caught me off guard because I didn't even know they were gonna come out with the update today I said well I guess it's coming out tomorrow and um what they added was the Neo Rave content Francis bug fixing loading space bug fixing ghost town fix and now it's open again Halloween decorations removed and added snow at the Nexus. So that's why I'm here for now. It's going to start lagging a little bit because as more people are going to be coming in, trying to connect here, getting on the server. And uh, I'm going to check out the... I'm going to just get over here. It's lagging. What's going on? Let's get right here. <laughs> Very slow. There's so many people coming in. Coming on the server now. Cause people have been waiting all day for the update. Trying to find out, eager to find out what's the update gonna be. So here it is, Neo Ray. Try anytime with this movie, Neon Clothing. So it's almost like the Ray space. Let's check the clothes out. Studded pink neon boots. Studded toxic neon neo boots. Studded fire neo boots. Studded blue wave neo boots. Check the pants. Red toxic neo jeans. Red pink jeans. Red blue wave neo jeans. Ripped fire Neo jeans. Check the shirts. <laughs> pink, pink Neo jacket. Toxic Neo jacket. Blue wave Neo jacket. Fire Neo jacket. Now to the ladies. Purple Neo heels. Pink Neo heels. It's pretty cool. Black Neo heels. Green and purple Neo skirt. Blue and pink. And pink and black. Green and purple Neo warmers. Blue and pink neo warmers, pink and black neo warmers. Check the shirt, green and purple neo top, blue pink, blue and pink, pink and black neo top. Green and purple neo bracelet, pink and white bracelet, and a blue and pink bracelet. Green purple neo pendant, pink, blue and pink pendant, and a pink and white neo pendant. Let's check the bundles out. So we get Neo, we get the pink and black bundle with the whole setup. Pink and bl blue and pink. I was about to say the colors twice. <laughs> Fire Neo bundle. There you go, blue way Neo ready. You didn't think you would, you didn't think this a I don't know, what's this? Pink. Neo boots for the red bundle. So that's the shop update. So everybody's loading in. Let's check the space. How many people is in the space right now? Just a couple people. And there's more people load in. So let's see. The only content was the Neo Ray. Let's take a look at the shop again. Now, when you look at this content for today, don't you think it was kind of lackluster? Don't you think we could have had more? And look, last week we had the update delayed for this. Only this? You can't be serious right now. Now, it, you would be lying to yourself right now if saying, "Oh, this this is a pretty good update." And if you were if you weren't excited to try to see and looking forward to the next update to see what they're gonna add for this patch update being a week of just a whole week delayed. For this, just for the Neo Rave shop update. Now, what I was gonna say when I was looking at the bundle, look, look at the shop. Neo Rave. What happened to the Rave? What happened to the Rave shop? There it is, right there. There it is. No, they came out with the Rave shop when they came out with the Rave space, the Rave public space. This should have came out with the Rave. Why are they coming out with this right now? I think it's too late for that. And it's lagging too. Somebody's in the snow here. Oh, she's sitting in the snow. 
they just come out with just that and then what besides it if it's anything that's new we got just snow in the nexus we got just some the two things that's new for the space or just for this update snow in the nexus to get ready for the christmas just make it all christmasy and all that that's not even all that and then just a shop update the updates are becoming predictable at this point and i just gotta be real like you're, you're probably not gonna be gonna you probably wouldn't want to come on here for this update you're probably not gonna get anything for the rave shop for the neo rave shop right off the bat it's probably something that's too late for that they could have came out with that with the rave space right here they could have come up with that and just added so much more and then i i just gotta say this too i'm, I'm sick of the personal spaces and if you got one those look they have visual appeals but you're not gonna be on there that time. You're gonna you're not gonna even be in there for like five, ten minutes at max tops. But let's get some public spaces. Listen, let's get some more activities to come on here. Most of these people that's coming on here, standing still, coming up to the same spot, coming on here, like these guys here, coming on here, just hanging out. If you're in a group or whatever, you're hanging out here, but you want some activities. You don't want to just be standing around just chatting. That's just going to get boring. And that's why I think most people are going to get are ready to leave the game. They're going to stop, move on, go to Abbey Light or where, and what have you. Drop the game. Stop playing the game. And some people have told me, oh, hey, I stopped playing this game. I got bored of it. I think I'm about ready to let go of it. Let go of the game because they're not coming out with many updates for the game. They're not coming out with more activities for the game to, so, to keep people playing. And what have they come out with? Besides, uh, what was the last time we had a public space? Just think about it. I can't even remember. But I know from the last real space, the real actual public space that they came out with was the Ray space that was new. Leap Park doesn't count as something new. Leap Park was already in existence from the day, from the beginning as a day one player. I played all these updates. I covered every single update from this game that ever came out for this game. And I still kept playing. But just with Leap Park, it's it's brand new from the ground up. Yeah, you could say it's technically new, but it's not a new, new public space that we didn't know about. And it took them time to get to bring that out. And it just if I'm looking at spaces like the Q, it's almost identical. It's nothing different really than the than the dome space. It's just it just has all the best music. It has the better music in the game. And then the Nexus music is, is is different. We had the same music since the beginning. We had all this. It's just not much of anything that's really changing here. And now, and just just to say it again, you can almost predict the updates. And I predicted this. And when I look at other people just playing this, it's just like I can predict the whole updates right off the bat before they even come out. And then when you take a look and see the changes of the of the content they bring to this, I can just see the the change. I can just know what they're gonna come out with next. A shop update, just a just new clothes, barely any activities, and just all the different just people coming on here. Look, and it's lagging really badly here. A lot of people are coming on now. But I was able to predict this update. I just was telling I was telling one of you guys right off, right off the bat, and I talked to you guys in the in the and the demons right off the bat, one on one, I knew what they were going to come out with. I said, it's going to be a shop update, most likely, some bullet fixes, and then Ghost Town is either going to disappear or just come back, just for the extension of the collector event. And that last reward wasn't really all that. We just need more to do. Let's get some activities. Let's get something, get, get our players something to do here. Instead of just coming on here, it gets boring. To, and people are gonna they're gonna start losing their players i'm gonna stick to the game whether they whether they just come out with these kind of updates or not to be honest but i got where am i getting my patience from why am i so patient for when it comes to the updates because i'm playing other different games i'm not playing this game every day i'm only playing it because when it's a new update and then sometimes when i'm not playing any other games just to came out come on i just come on just come on here to chill after playing other variety of games here on the channel or just hanging out in, in multiplayer games having fun on those games that's where i get my patience from because i don't play it every day but if i didn't have anything else to play and i was just playing just nothing but nebula rounds all the time every day all day every day i wouldn't really be able to grind the points that i wanted to grind i wouldn't be able to get all the points on the shop like I want to look at my points 680 points just to be honest on my side of the things I only got 600 points why is it so low because I'm not grinding the points it's no point in grinding the points to even try to get some of these things that's on the store even if you want to because you're only getting 20 points a day and I talked about it in the comments and back and forth with some of you guys in the comments it's not 
worth the grind because you're getting uh, three games a day for match for mini games. And then we look at the pa the spaces and look at this guy Grim Reaper. Before I continue talking about this, I just got genes. Don't have nether points or crystals. But what about those other players that wanted to get those points and wanted to grind it? Let's take a look at the public spaces again. Let's see which where you're gonna go to play those activities. My go-to space, bowling alley. For the pinball. That's all I play for my nether points. I don't play any other mini games in this game. I don't. I just stopped playing them. I got bored of jungle mini golf, because even though the music's good there, the beach is still laggy, so I just stopped going there. But Jungle Mini Golf is only single player. You wouldn't even you would get so bored just playing it through all the way through. You'll be ready to play something else. You'll be ready to go somewhere else and try another different mini game. But the best mini game to go to for Neville Points is pinball. That's my go-to game, and it's quicker too. You don't even have to play the pinball game all the way through. Just let the ball go through three times, and then you're done for the day for your points. What about just committing those times if you want to really try to get something that you really want to get, like something off the Neil Ray store, for example, just anything off the shop, a pet, you want to grind for a, a personal space and you probably don't have the money to buy one. Maybe you bought some other games like me, bought spending money buying games, other games besides spending my money on some clothes, but I can't really grind for it. Instead of buying crystals, I'd rather just go buy a real game that's coming out. Red Dead Redemption that I'm playing. All these different games that are just variety that I'm playing while I wait for the next update. That's why I'm not really, that's where I'm getting my patience from. That's where I'm getting all the, all that time that they wait. We only hear from them just like five to six days, just a week, every update. So we got this. What are we going to get now? We're going to have to wait the next week for them to just say something from their post and i gotta just say this how come it's taking so long for them to even try to say these things ahead of time when they know they i feel like they probably have to delay it but we wait till the next to the weekend to probably come out for something to come out of their mouths to say something from the post people are in the dark for too long and something that i caught that i figured out and noticed is that if you say for example you have a twitter play a twitter page and that's all you use to keep up with nebula rounds maybe you don't have a facebook and you probably don't feel like going on those other platforms facebook Instagram what have you you won't probably get those same updates that you get from Facebook that you get from other other places you're gonna find out that they're not posting the same things that they they put the info on their Twitter as they do Facebook you're better off following the Facebook page to find the info and keep up with the updates because they post the most there it's a rare occurrence for them to even post on their Instagram page and I'm not even playing and look at this guy this this guy is still glitched out <laughs> It's just so bad and just when they can when they continue to come out with these kind of updates as lackluster We definitely need so much more for this game and they're gonna be in real trouble Once games like Abby like come out and a lot of people have been talking about that every time every day that we come on here And when I run into you guys you guys talk about it. Are you guys gonna play it? Are you gonna are you planning on playing it? I'm definitely gonna be playing it, but I'm not gonna I'm just gonna stick with this game and keep playing it and rock with it and hope that they come out with some good updates because we need public spaces we need activities we need multiplayer we need all this type of stuff that we need to do for activities for our characters and for our avatars it's just not that fun coming on here and when you come on you wouldn't want to be stay on here like all we got from this update for just like a whole week a delay which surprised me they're better off just they should have just delayed it till next week we should have had another additional week for delays and for content and just to have some actual stuff to do and it makes me wonder what's going to be the christmas update what are they going to do for that are they going to bring out like a space and just my prediction right now i think Le les chalet by juggernaut games is going to be a holiday personal space but we don't need any more personal spaces it's too many of them and i'm going right back to the shop again like ask yourself what's the best personal space and even if you have all these personal spaces i got the cutter ridge estate i got the waterfall apartment i got the blue wave hideout but the best one i'm picking cutter ridge out of all of them and that's all i need i don't need the night room this one wasn't even all that it was almost like the identical thing for the dressing room it must have been an add-on why would you include that with it for a whole separate space when it's just it's the same chandelier the fair the only difference is the floor pattern you don't have really much of anything 
much of a difference. Now, when you look at the other spaces with these personal spaces, I'm just talking about this just for, for those who love personal spaces. Outside of the visual appeal, what are you going to be doing there? You're not going to have any other activity there. You're going to only have an exclusive activity at the Blue Wave Hideout, which is the jet ski racing, but you don't get Nebula points for it. You don't get any sort of type of rewards. It's just something for you to do. But that's something, at least that's something that stands out out of all these different spaces. You don't have any other activities. There's no there's nothing to do at the night room, the dressing room, the cutter ridges, stay up running around, trying to get scared, star crawlers, and then greenhouse and waterfall apartment. Which waterfall has a car, like a mini go kart from Jack and Daxter and whatnot. <laughs> that makes me think of that. That you can't even even control. So it's just there for show in the garage. And then the shower and the jacuzzi. That's just more visual appeal. That's it. But we're going to need more than that. We're going to need more stuff coming from these guys from Zylock for this particular game. And that's why I think no one is really, really going to be playing it that much. And that's why they're going to lose players when they come out with updates like this. Like this update patch 1.66 that I had to come out and talk about after I saw the content that they revealed. And it just doesn't seem worth the wait. We came out. We waited a whole week. Just for just a brand new shop and some snow coming out of the sky here at Nexus. Don't you think? And most people, you gotta just be honest with yourself and just ask yourself that. Don't you think we should have had more than this? And if they were to just come out with this little update, we should have just had something better than this. We had, we should have had something like a whole another week. And these problems still continue to come up. When they're supposed to be supposed to be fixed, and you, you saw that guy doing the T-pose for Fortnite, Fortnite emo, sitting over there doing the T-pose. That's still an issue going on. There's still people running in place, and players look at this guy. You're, they're not. They're going to be lost. They're not going to want to stay on here for too long. They're just going to be running around clueless. We don't even have that much of a good tutorial to teach these guys how to play, to show them what to do, what can they do, and what to get involved with. Look at this guy sliding around, oh, saying guy. These aren't even labeled. You just be pressing buttons and being lost and clueless. And this space is so laggy. It's just, it's laggy. It's like slowing down because everybody trying to play now that the update's out. But that, I, it's, that's just, I just had to talk about it. But we deserve so much more. We need so much more if they want to keep this game going forward and they want it to keep it growing. We just can't have these kind of updates come out when it's the same thing over and over and over. And it becomes predictable to the point, and then people get bored of it. They'll die off, and they just delete the game and go play something else. But for me, I'm going to continue to be that per the person that's going to wait for the updates to come out. And sure, I understand what it's like to be a developer, just putting myself in their shoes. I know the struggle that they went through, because I played since the beginning and saw the post that they came out. This game could have been never, never couldn't have gotten this far. And it's been out for over a year, from uh, for, for just a good while, a year and some change. Because they had to rebuild the service from the ground up. They had to get everything back off and back up and running from the start. Start all over. Get the servers back up to the point where they could get them and get the game running to make it playable to the public. Take it off the PlayStation Store. Put it back on the PlayStation Store. And then make the game public to the people outside the country. So it's just, it's just been so many different things that they've been through. But just when, when you come out with these kind of updates and you got all these people coming on here trying to play and support, show support for the game, you can't come out with these kind of updates. you got to bring more stuff and more activities because people are going to go bored of it. Go bored of it and just go move on to something else and go on to the next best thing that's probably going to be coming out in sometime in 2019. So I can't blame those who made that move and made that decision. And I don't, it's just this game right here, Chrono Racer, this could have been so much better. It's not even a multiplayer game. But the best mini games I have to think. Think of that off the top of my head. Just pinball, bowling, and but my number one is uh, the go-kart. They could come out with new tracks for that to keep people playing, even different rewards, good variety, and all that. And I seen I and I seen some it's just some some people say that they should just replace the just replace stuff and remove it. Ghost Town's not gonna be here that long. And I'm gonna go there. I don't know if it's gonna work. I just really wanna test it. As I wrap this up, but I just really had to talk about all those things. We don't need updates like this. Just snow in the shop update, and then that's it. We need more things that need to be fixed. These glitches are still happening. Pets duplicating and stuff like that. Stuck in the snow. I'm going to go to the ghost town. 
It's just to see if it works. Just to really just test it. But that's it. It's there's and just looking at the patch notes all over again. Just only content is Neo Rave content. And most people want the game to look better and all that. Like we don't see the game the game's not gonna change the way it's look. All they can really do to try to keep you playing is to keep the content coming to the game and just hope it's good enough to keep you playing and it's more activities to keep people on the game. So they're not just standing, coming on here to stand around and just chat. We have more places to go. We have more things to do. That's what we need for this game. Starting to come in here. So it works. And this, and this space could have been better when they came out with it. It was just this whole same thing. Hey, slagging, stuck, frozen. It's a lot of people here. It's a lot of people here. This is as packed as I seen the ghost town. But this could have been look, it's just it's just brighter. That's it. The moonlight just seemed like it's got bigger brighter. But it, we can't go into these places. What what is this place is gonna be dead soon? Once the collector let me go back and turn around. Once the collector goes away. No one's gonna be on it at this place anymore. It's just gonna be the same thing and it's gonna be dead. See the collector? It's right here. Oh, it's, look, it's, it's glitched out. See, it's all white. See? It's all glitched out. Has to stand still. See, it's not even fixed. You can't even see it. That's another thing that they gotta fix. And when they come out with something, it's always something new that's wrong. Now, I got the, memory, the items by, by heart. First item on the left, monster hat, or monster cap, middle, skeleton hoodie, which is the best item that you're going to get from the collector, and then on the right side, just shotguns. But that's not Halloween. I guess they're pretty cool, but you can't do nothing with them. But that's it. For this patch update, I don't know what you guys think. We got to get more than what we have here. Snow in the shop update? Just a brand new shop that could have been part of the rave club, rave update from a while ago when they came out with the rave space? That just seems like something that they just ran to. As good as it looks, they could have been came out with that. But that's, that's it. I just had to talk about it. So we definitely need more than what we're gonna get. And what are you gonna come out with next? What's next? What's the next public space? Look at this guy. Oh, look, she said... Do y'all crash when teleporting? Nope. What's going on over here? <laughs> Oof. <laughs> Everybody doing that. But I'm not just saying. Last time. In a matter of days, you're not going to see this anymore. You're not. Not in this space. Because when the collector gets gone, it's not even going to be that much of a hangout space.